What are we doing? <laughs> Feels like we spent the last three or four days in a car. Hi, bird.
a little visit to the beach and our personal favourite beach is Haysborough Beach because it's where Mr Mass spent most of his childhood holidays. We've spent some lovely holidays since we've been married. The kids have been coming here since I was small and it's really cute and pretty and kind of isolated and just very picturesque so we've had a quick walk down there and it was glorious. our little mini vlog all about our adventure to Norfolk and back in one day. It was a bit of a crazy idea, I'm not sure if we'll ever do it again, but we all had a great time. The weather was beautiful as you could probably tell. Um, I got really sunburned, not so good. Um, the journey there was dead easy, we had lots of fun at Rocks and Barns, playing on the um, fun fair and going to the farm and we had a round of crazy golf. I would highly recommend if you want to take a visit there that you look into the little wristband things because they really do save you a lot of money. Um, normally to go on the ride you have to pay individually for tokens and with the wristbands you can just go on everything as many times as you like. So it is really really good value, I would recommend it. Um, I should probably just say that this is in no way sponsored by Rocks and Barns or anything, it's just a place that we found a few years ago when we visited Norfolk and we now go every time we're in the area because we love it and the kids love it and it's just such a good day out. They also have a little um, shopping area where they have little craft shops and little kooky gift shops and sweetie shops and just loads of lovely things for grown-ups look around as well. So it's not just for kids, there is something for everybody. Um, after that we headed off to the beach, um, took advantage of the sunshine and the nice weather and played a bit on the playground and then we went for dinner at one of our favourite pubs, the Lighthouse Inn in Walcott, which is a really just traditional family pub and they have this big marquee and every summer they have children's entertainers. Um, we saw, as you will have seen from the video, um, a chap called Dave Donut who does a really good show. He does um, magic tricks, silly little games for the kids, a bit of a disco and occasionally also a Punch and Judy show. So he's a firm family favourite of ours and we were very excited to see him again. Um, the whole day really went very smoothly and it was a lovely day until it was time to go home. We had deliberately left our journey back until really late. We left Norfolk at about nine o'clock at night thinking that it would be cooler um, it would be just less traffic on the roads, a smooth trip back, stop for coffee halfway home. What could possibly go wrong? Um, we didn't realise until we were on the road and it had started to rain that all of the major, well, two of the major roads coming out of Norfolk had been shut for 
roadworks and so they were just these detours that kept seeming to loop around on each other and we ended up driving around in a big circle for about an hour before realizing we were never going to get home that way um it did get a little bit scary for a bit we weren't really sure if we were going to get home or not and then eventually took a massive detour i'd got google maps and the sat nav and was frantically trying to navigate us a new way home we eventually drove an hour in the wrong direction headed up through cambridge there was another road closure around there um we drove down this road called the 40 foot bank which is possibly the scariest most horrible road i've ever driven on where you drive in a straight line parallel to a river for a good long way with nothing in between so there was no fence or barrier or anything and it was one in the morning and it was raining it was terrifying i was having kittens mr mess had to drive and be the sensible one in that scenario so the journey which we thought would take us three hours took about four and a half we got home at half past two in the morning hysteria had pretty much set in and we were all gone a bit nuts by this point but it didn't spoil what had been a lovely day so we might do it again one day we might just fork out and get a hotel who knows but thank you very much for watching um hopefully i'll have more videos of more of our little adventures soon